Hello and welcome back to the Squirrel Heed YouTube channel, or welcome to the Squirrel Heed YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, welcome. Do stay for the trip, stay for a while, check out some videos, check out some playlists. There's so much stuff to check out, and there's so much more to come in the future. And as the title will suggest from this for this video, we hit 50 subscribers the other day. We hit it, I think it was late, late last night, something like that. I think it might have even been late Wednesday night or something like that. And I've been buzzing about it since. Now, 50 subscribers. I'm not meaning like we hit 50 subs, like 50K or anything like that. No way. Nothing ridiculous like that. And that is a, that's a target that I don't, I don't know. Maybe one day that would be quite nice. But 50 subscribers was, was, was a target of mine because I just thought that would be quite nice to, you know, keep us ticking over and maybe give us a new target for the year, like, and I'm still not sure what the target for the year is, in terms of, do I want, what do I want in subscribers, or what would I like to achieve, not what do I want, and the reason I say that we hit 50 subscribers, is because, yes, I put the content out there, but I need to make sure that I've got people actually wanting to watch it, and people do seem to, seem to want to watch it, and more people are getting interested in some of the, like, the FIFA series especially, that is starting to pick up a bit more steam in terms of viewership and people getting some comments in, uh, liking the videos and stuff like that. And that is always so greatly appreciated. The Liverpool videos, the actual, um, the previews and the reviews, they seem to be getting some good ones as well. And there's always people wanting to watch stuff like that. And then there's the other gaming ones that I do, such as like I've just finished the Zelda Link's Awakening series, that is, ah, I love that series so much, and I love those types of games and things like that, and that's the type of things that I'm, I, I like doing, and that's probably what I'm going to be doing on this channel forever more. I seem to be coming up with a more of a, a better schedule, and I think having a schedule, you guys know when I'm bringing out the Youth Academy, Tuesdays and Fridays, 9am, I think I've missed it once or twice, but 16 episodes... So far, we've just had the 103 goals compilation as well, which was unbelievable. And then just had an awesome episode of number 16. Check that out. I'll keep a link in that in the description below. If you'd like to check it out, that'd be awesome. But as I said before, it's it's for, for you guys as well, this 50 subscribers. it It's done some... Well, as soon as I saw that, and I tell you what, I wasn't even monitoring it. What I was doing is I was actually uploading or finishing off the editing for the last episode of... Uh, the Youth Academy, and I was finishing off the editing for that one, and I just went on my YouTube to check out my playlist and see where stuff was, and I clicked on my profile, and the last I saw it, it said 49, and I was just like, oh man, I hope that ticks over in, like, pretty soon or something like that, and I literally, I refreshed it, and it hit 50, and I was, I was, I was gobsmacked, I really was gobsmacked, I couldn't believe it, I was like, 50 subscribe, like, I literally checked this, like, two hours ago when I went on my profile to check some other stuff or update some info and it said 49 and I just didn't think anything of it and when I saw 50 I literally kind of I just I just kind of like punched my hands in the air and I was just like yes you know this is such a I don't know it's such a it's such a nice thing to achieve the goal like I think we were it was four or five days into the new year and I'd set it to like the end of January um so I'm hoping stuff like that can continue where we can get more audience people um, checking things out, getting more comments in. Um, I don't tend to get a lot of negative comments either, which is, I think I did it at the start when I first started doing um, the football videos and the previews and stuff like that. Things like the Premier League preview have gone away from the channel, obviously because there just didn't seem to be a lot of people wanting to pick up on the actual full Premier League preview. And it did take up a lot of time actually having to try and do those. You're, like, you're previewing 10 um, 10 games in the Premier League, or 9 games, and then I'd do the separate preview for a Liverpool game, and it took up a hell of a lot of time looking at what the teams were going to be like, their last performances, and I do use um, Sky's website with the form, the form guides for each one, giving you the last 6 games, how they've performed, to help out with that, but it took a lot of time, so I took them away, didn't really give an explanation for that, and to be fair, I don't think it's been a great loss so far, so they probably won't be coming back for those that maybe did enjoy it, um, they probably won't be coming back anytime soon. Maybe when there's a bigger audience that might appreciate that sort of stuff, I might bring it back next year. Or I'll probably end up bringing something similar back when we get into the tail end of the top four, the title race at the end of this season. I'll probably bring something back, cup games and stuff like that as well. The Champions League, when that gets into its final stages, because I love watching all of that, even if we're not involved in it, even if Liverpool aren't involved in it. I don't want to cover some stuff like that as well. 
there's going to be some other things that I'm going to bring to the channel as well. Um, some of them, it's not necessarily going to be like vlogging. It could be things that I do, like, I do quite a lot. I do so much outside of just doing these videos, like, and outside of my work that I do on a daily basis. I do a lot of stuff outside. I do think, like, I'm, cre I'm a, you know, I'm a creative composer that creates so many different types of music which will eventually, once I build up a bit more of a library, they will take over the pieces of music I'm using in my videos right now. That's what I want to do. Be able to create my own music and have it in my own videos. And it is of quite a high quality, I must say. That's, I'm, I'm quite proud to say that. I'm not a big-headed person when it comes to any of my creations or anything like that in terms of music or videos, but I am proud of my music. I always have been. Played music since the age of five. I'm 29. You can guess how long I've been playing. I love it, and I love writing music, and I really want to get it involved in my videos. And it's almost like I could customize my videos with my music. I could, I, and that it makes it very personal. It makes it a bit different to some of the things that I watch that I have, or other YouTubers that I watch that are doing similar sort of things to me in terms of the FIFA, the gaming, and such like that, and the football um, previews, reviews. It just makes it a little bit more my own. You know, and it might only be a little bit of different, you know, it might not make much of a difference to the viewers out there, but it makes a huge difference to me. It gives me much more ownership, especially as a long-term musician and composer. Instead of using other people's pre, you know, um, royalty-free sort of things, I get to make my own. And that's going to be such a, that'll be a really cool thing to start doing this year is to start bringing that sort of stuff in. And it'll help me also improve myself in terms of production. And I think... Especially doing that 103 goals compilation, you can really see the changes in my production levels between the videos, the gaming sound sounds, the music sounds as well. You go to the first clip in that one, to the final clip in that one, such a massive difference. And I think it's always about self-improvement and having little targets here and there. I'm not, I haven't settled on a target, as I said. I'm going to do a channel update in about a week or so about what we're going to do in terms of the schedule going to try and actually try and nail down a schedule now that i've got the youth academy pretty much on a week basis two episodes coming out i want to get some other things into that schedule um it does make me very busy but i love doing it i love the recording i love the editing like i can lose hours editing and it doesn't matter because it's so enjoyable and i really enjoy doing this type of stuff i really enjoy getting the videos out recording i can talk for days this will probably be barely edited and I'm just flying off the seat of my pants just just, just saying stuff, you know, and, and I like that kind of stuff. I like doing this sort of thing. And I love the fact that, you know, I think apart from there's a good few friends that have, you know, followed the YouTube vision and stuff like that. Or followed the YouTube channel, I should say. There is a vision in my mind, but we won't reveal that just yet. Not until maybe further down the line. There are a good couple of friends that are you know, supporting, and I don't necessarily greatly reveal a great deal, I, I do a lot of my promotion and stuff like that on YouTube, Google Plus and things like that, Facebook, maybe one day, maybe one day, but Facebook can be a little bit, mm, I'm unsure about it at the moment in terms of using it as a promotional tool, um, but regardless, I am starting to ramble a little bit, I do know, but do, I'm so, I am very, very happy, I'm very happy to have all 50 of you guys as subscribers i really really am and i really appreciate you taking the time just to hit that subscribe button it's unreal it, it I, it's it's a click of the button for you guys and you're going to see my content pop, pop up those of you that might get alerts or whatever so so awesome but for me it just it gives me a little bit more validation in in what i do and that and maybe maybe this path isn't so outlandish in that it might be something that I can continue to do. This might be something that fizzes out and maybe fizz, uh, 50 subscribers is as, good, is as good as it gets. I don't mind. That's absolutely fine because you know what? I'm still going to keep making content. I, I don't care. I'm still going to make content regardless whether this absolutely takes off and goes to the sky or whatever or it stays in its, in its 50s, maybe in the 100s, something like that. I don't really mind because I enjoy doing this stuff and that's how... That's the best way to approach this type of what type of this type of thing, especially if you're of a creative background and everything like that. Don't you don't view it as a job. You just you, if you do it because you love doing it and you love learning how to do new things and speaking with people online and stuff like that and having a bit of communication, maybe with people that are better than you at at it. You know, I think a prime example of someone who's better at doing football previews and reviews and stuff like that 
is uh, a lovely gentleman called Hugh Wizzy. I don't know him personally. He doesn't know me personally either. But unbelievable. And you can you can tweet the guy about pretty much anything. And nine times out of ten, he gets back to you with like a little bit of feedback or just like, oh, that's really cool. And vice versa. If you like some stuff of his, that's awesome. And that's really, really cool. And it shows that, yes, he's, like, he's what? I think if I was to equate it, I think he's got about maybe 89,900 more subscribers than I do. But the dude's world class. Um, and that's absolutely awesome. And I'm not just, I'm not name dropping that in there. There's no name dropping whatsoever. I don't know. And I'm not trying to, his name isn't in the title. I'm not trying to get views or steal or anything like that. I just wanted to, you know, get that out there that, that there, are, there are really decent people out there that really do support the smaller ones of us and like we are we are small and i am i am i know where i sit in terms of youtube and stuff like that but i also know where i want to go and i know where i could go maybe one day if the stars align and i work hard enough and that's the main thing if i work hard enough keep up the schedule keep listening to you guys anything that you suggest and i genuinely mean it because i don't think that i get enough comments about what you guys maybe want to see or that what you're maybe expecting from from the channel or from me to put out there, I'm always up for suggestions. The only thing that I ask you to consider is that it literally is just me, okay? So there might be some things out there that you might want us to do that I just literally can't because I would not have the time to do it. I work about eight to nine hours a day. I do a lot of work on the videos and stuff as well, but there's also, there's a life outside of work and doing this sort of stuff that I like to, <laughs> you've got to maintain as well for sanity's purpose as well. So just bear that one in mind. And in terms of some FIFA ones as well, just to preempt as well, because I know what FIFA YouTubers tend to get into when they've, you know, got a certain level. Okay. I have a very finite budget. <laughs> okay. So things like pack openings and stuff like that will never probably be happening unless I somehow one day end up earning hand over fist. Because that's just not going to happen. It really, really will not happen. Doing stuff like getting teams with like a Messi, Ronaldo and a Neymar and a Suarez and stuff like that. No, no way. There's a reason. There's two reasons I went for the Youth Academy. A, to discover all of the talent in so many different leagues and B, I cannot afford any of those players. <laughs> so, and I think it's quite new as well. I think it's quite a nice little concept. Um, I'm trying to come up with other FIFA series as well, but um, yeah, let me know any thoughts that you want on that one as well. Look, there's there's a lot of... I've gone over a lot of different things here. And the main thing is, is just to thank you all so ever, ever so much for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing. Those of you that share things around as well. Absolute... You're absolute legends regardless. Every single one of you. Absolute legends. And I can't... I, don't, I can't... I can't express appreciation for getting me to 50 subscribers more than thanking you all so much in this video. And that's pretty much where we're going to end it for now. Otherwise, I, I could literally ramble for longer. I really, really could. People that know me personally know I could pretty much talk for days. And I, I could, it's, it's nearly happening. I'm pretty much almost going into another tangent now, but I'm going to stop myself. Thank you ever so much for watching. Get some ideas down. What, like, or anything you want to write in the comment box. Just, you know, get it wrote down. Nine times out of ten, I will try and respond to you. Other times, my brain does a brain fart and I forget. So apologies on that one, but I always read all the comments. So get anything you like down in the comment box below. I'm going to leave you here. Thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you for the 50 subscribers, and I'll catch you later.